Welcome back to Squawk Box this morning. Disney and Marvel's Black Widow breaking box office records this weekend, grossing $80 million in the domestic box office. It's the largest opening weekend since the start of the pandemic. However, Disney is also reporting that the film made another $60 million on their streaming service, Disney+. Plus. Joining us right now to discuss what this means for the future of the theater industry is Richard Galfond. He, of course, is IMAX's CEO. Richard, great to see you this morning. Um, and it's great to see the movie uh, and film theater business back up and running. But this weekend's box office is sort of a, a stark reminder that maybe the movie industry and theater business is changing forever. I mean, forever's, forever is a pretty long time, Andrew. As a matter of fact, it's changed forever about four times in the last year. Remember, Warner Brothers was doing day and date releases forever. Now they've gone to a 45 day window. Your parent company, Universal, was changing things forever. Now they've gone to a four month streaming window. You know, I think the weekend was fantastic. It's building back in a way we would all love to see it build back, but we're still just coming out of the pandemic. And I think it's way too early to you to uh, predict the future based off one weekend. How much of this, though, do you think is going to focus on the kinds of films that will do well in the theater? We already saw a trend over the last decade uh, around the big uh, tentpole films. But do you think that the tentpole has to get even higher? Yeah, I do think the industry is going to consolidate more around tentpole films. And obviously, that's great for IMAX. What we do is curate and show tentpole films on a global basis. That's a good development for us. But I think a lot of the mid-level films will start to split off into streaming only kinds of releases. So a lot of the small films will be sacrificed on the big screen and will be streamed. But I think films like Black Widow um, are going to go have theatrical windows. And in fact, Disney said that if you go forward and you look at Shang-Chi, their next Marvel movie, <clears throat> or you look at Free Guy, um, they've already said those are going to have 45-day theatrical windows, as has every other studio. So, yes, I think the mix in multiplexes will change in terms of the kind of films, but the blockbusters are really going to drive the multiplex business and certainly yeah. IMAX's business. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.